Hello, my friends. Today we will make small element. I call it Isonal, and I will use skin from the old book, crochet book. This element is not big. I will use this beautiful bright thread number 2817. It's a pure looks Italian viscose. A lot of threads like this you can find at JT House yarn store. Link you will find in description to this video. You will see there more than 30 different and really amazing colors. This thread is perfect for tender lace, for blouses, skirts and dresses. I love to use this yarn for all my projects. And now we can start. I will use crochet hook 1.7 millimeters, also scissors and a needle with big eye just to hide few tails. Now we will start from tension loops and uh, after we should join this tension loops to the ring by making a slip stitch. So let's do this. So let's start. First I will make tension loops. Don't forget to leave tail around uh, 20 centimeters and uh, let's make tension loops. We have first chain Second, third, fourth, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now after insert a hook to the first chain and make a slip stitch. Such way we create this ring. Next two threads take on your hook, yarn over and draw through working loop. Leave tail at the right side and this working loop just make it smaller. After, uh, so we have like one chain loop. Next I will make four more. In total five chain loops. Next two times yarn over. Around this ring make treble crochet stitch. Don't finish it. Again, two times yarn over around the same yes, area, make second treble crochet stitch. And now join the three loops on your hook by one thread. After this, make two chain loops, catch the last chain, and now we will make picot from seven chain loops. Three, four, five, six, seven. Finish to make this picot by just by slip stitch, create this picot. After two chain loops and now two times yarn over make first treble crochet stitch around this ring don't finish it again two times yarn over make second treble crochet stitch don't finish it and third time the same and now i have four loops on my hook yarn over and join all these threads now two chain loops Catch the last chain, make seven chain loops, three, four, five, six, seven, and now finish to make picot, and now two chain loops, and again two times yarn over around this ring, make treble crochet stitch, don't finish it, second stitch, again don't finish it, two times yarn over and make third stitch. And now we have four loops on the hook, yarn over and join this all loops. Again, two chain loops, catch the last chain and start to make seven chain loops. Six, seven. And now finish to make picot. After two chain loops and two times yarn over, make treble crochet stitch, don't finish it. Again, two times yarn over, make second stitch, don't finish it and third like this. Now we have four loops on the hook, yarn over and join all these loops. Now two chain loops, catch the last chain and start to make seven chain loops. Four, five, six, seven. Now finish to make picot. And again two chain loops. Two times yarn over, make treble crochet stitch, don't finish it. Second treble crochet stitch, don't finish it. And third. Now four loops on your hook joined by one thread. After two chain loops, catch the last chain and make seven chain loops. Four, five, six, seven. Finish to make picot from seven chain loops and two chain loops. Two times yarn over around this ring, make first treble crochet stitch. Don't finish it, second stitch. And now the third one. And you should get four loops on your hook, yarn over and join all these loops. In such way, I will continue to my work, yes. We should repeat the same all the time. 
So 2 chain loops, pico from 7 chain loops, again 2 chain loops and 3 treble crochet stitches joined at the top point. Uh, this system I will continue to make and only in the end I will show you how to finish this small element. So now I have uh, 9 petals like this and in our scheme we have uh, 10 petals. So 3 treble crochet stitches joined at the top point. So I need to make one more petal and we will finish our beautiful element. So 2 chain loops, now pick off from 7 chain loops, 4, 5, 6, 7. Finish to make this pico, two chain loops, and now two times yarn over, and make the last petal from three treble crochet stitches. Just each time, don't finish treble crochet stitch, and in the end, you should get four loops on your hook like this. Yarn over and draw threads for all these loops. Now two chain loops. Last time, make pico from seven chain loops, three, four, five, six, seven. Finish to make pico, two chain loops, and now joining to this petal, to the first one. At the top here, I will take, yes, like this, I will insert hook below two threads and make just a slip stitch. One more chain loop, and now cut the thread, just don't forget to leave tail around 20 centimeters. Yes, fix the yarn. And in such way, we finish it to make this small petal, small flower. And uh, now I want to make even more. I want to show you how you can join step by step few elements like this. Just we will use this picots and during work on second element, during my work, I will make joinings to this picots. So, and I think uh, we can make joining to uh, two picots each time. Yes, one new element we can join to two picots. So, uh, next uh, element number three, we can join. To also we can use two picots and two picots from the second element so we will have four journeys this uh, journeys I will show you now I will start to make element like this second one from the same color and we will make two journeys yes so I started to make second element like this and now during my work I will join to the first one so what uh, we should make like always, uh, we should start to make two chain loops, and now I need to make pico from seven chain loops, but this time I will not do this. So uh, we should divide this pico to two the same parts. This will be three chain loops after joining to the first element, and again three chain loops. So let's make two chain loops. I have now three more. One, two, three. After take in the same direction as this element, first one, and insert hook to the middle of pico. Now I need to make, sorry, like this, I will do, uh, I need to make single crochet stitch after three chain loops, one, two, three, finish to make pico, okay, after two chain loops, and now I will continue to make second element so three treble crochet stitches with one top point and to join all these loops now again two chain loops start to make pico so three chain loops uh, to the next pico of first element again insert hook make single crochet stitch and continue to make this second element so three chain loops finish to make pico after Two chain loops and two times yarn over make three treble crochet stitches with one top point like this in such way we join it two elements in two points yes now i can finish to make this element we should make uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten petals so now i will make the last part we have 10 petals, so 2 chain loops, pick off from 7 chain loops, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, finish to make pick off after 2 chain loops and joining to this point, to the top of these stitches, insert hook below 2 threads and make slip stitch, one more chain and cut the yarn, leave tail around 20 centimeters. And now I will make third element like this and again i will 
join this element to two previous elements. Yes, again, I will use picots to do this. And now third element, I made few petals. Now we can start to make joinings. Just you need to turn all these elements uh, to the same yes, direction. Uh, yes, for, for example, this will be for front side. So now we, we are working at the back side. And uh, during my work, I will join to this picot, to this one. And also, let's see, we can join to this picot, this to this one and this, okay, four picots we will use. So two chain loops, after three chain loops more, take this element and make joining to this picot, yes, not this, this one. Make single crochet stitch, after three chain loops, one, two, three, and finish to make picot next two chain loops and now three treble crochet stitches around this main ring so three stitches and join them at the top point like this after two chain loops next three chain loops more again take this element and now joining to the second picot, make single crochet, next three chain loops, and make finish to make picot. After two chain loops, two times yarn over, make three treble crochet stitches. Join them at the top point, two chain loops. Now three chain loops more. Take second element and make a joining to this picot, yes. To this one, make single crochet after three chain loops. Finish to make picot after two chain loops and three treble crochet stitches. Join at the top point. Now two chain loops and three chain loops more. Take again this element and once again to the middle of picot I will make a joining, yes, like this. And now three chain loops, one, two, three. Finish to make picot after two chain loops and three treble crochet stitches with one top point like we did before. This will be petal. Now let's see how many petals we have. We have nine petals, so just continue to make standard element. So now I will make picot from seven chain loops. And now petal from three treble crochet stitches. And now the last part, just two chain loops after seven chain loops. Four, five, six, seven. Finish to make this big picot, and after two chain loops, and joining to the beginning of this element at the top here of these stitches, make slip stitch, one more chain loop, and cut the thread and fix the yarn. In such way, we learn it how to make this small element and also how to join them during the work and you can make really big grid by making small elements also you can make them in different color you can use different threads so and such pattern you can use for your projects now we can hide tails and after stretch and open this beautiful part of lace so again just use needle with big eye and insert a needle in, in the middle of the stitches, take area around two centimeters and just uh, change direction and insert needle a few times, two or three times, better three, because in such a way you will fix yarn better inside of this element. And now we can cut this thread very close to the element. Now the same with the second tail.
you just three times insert needle in inside of this motif in the middle of uh, these stitches and change just just change direction of your work and cut the yarn in the same way i will hide the next four tails and after we will open and stretch ready work so now i can iron and stretch our beautiful lace three elements just uh, here we should open this all picots by fingers you need to make them straight and fix by steam iron yes to get really nice result stretch everything in different directions yes and at the both sides after again by fingers we should make nice shape of our small flowers So, and here is our result. We can say it's like part of a grid or something, or a beautiful lace. If you will join a lot of elements like this to these old pins, you will get a beautiful and interesting lace. And this thread is uh, really soft, um, high quality, tender, a little shiny, and perfect for laces like this. Uh, so, for these elements, I used thread Sapphire Lux number 2817, very beautiful, bright color, and uh, you can see once again this result, yes, closer a little bit, how everything looks. And the pattern for these flowers you can find in our group on Facebook, Free Crochet Patterns Group. Link to this group you will find in description to this video. You can join our group and you will get there a lot of uh, tutorials for free about projects, about motifs and laces. So join us and create together with us really beautiful elements and projects. Also, I am making live workshops at JT House Patreon page. Each month, I am making two live workshops with all my friends and subscribers. Right now, I want to say big thank you to all my subscribers at JT House Patreon page. Thank you so much for your support. Together with you, I am making new crochet projects. And yes, I am sharing all my designs, new designs there. We have their colored schemes, video tutorials. Also, I am making patterns, everything I explain everything everything in details so it's a very interesting process if you want to join the JT house patreon club you can use link in description to this video right now we are making two projects it's summer top mermaid and also wedding dress so a very beautiful interesting projects and uh, yes i am very happy that i can make projects like this together with my friends uh, and uh, also i want to say if you want to know more about our crochet courses, you can visit our main website, jdhouse.net. There we have more than 15 crochet courses about different projects. So you will see there detailed information. Maybe one of crochet courses will be interesting for you. So visit our website and find out something special for yourself. Uh, right now, I want to say a big thank you uh, for watching this video. I wish you gorgeous results, big inspiration, and see you very soon at the new videos about new motifs. I will prepare something interesting for you, so hope to see you soon at the new video. And stay safe. Bye-bye for now.